all the parts of the outhouse are now in the same group, in the same family. And if I move one part, all the parts move together. Whereas if, if I didn't add them into the same grouping, they would move separately. They're not joined, they're just in the same group. There's a difference. If I had joined them using the join tool, which we'll look at much later, they would um, be the same object, but they are still separate objects. They're independent, but they are grouped together, so they move together. There's a difference there. There's one last step that we need to perform before our model is ready for use in the game and ready to export, and that is to apply some textures to it. Now, a texture is a square bitmap or targa or JPEG file that we can apply to the faces of our model. Now to start with we're just going to have to cover the model with one overall texture and that's because MSTS requires that every surface is textured otherwise it will fail to export and it won't it'll uh, crash the, the game when we go to load it up. So in this panel we've, we've got our different panels up here We'll go to the uh, material panel, which is represented by the paint bottle. And in the texture library, we'll click on one of these textures. It doesn't matter which one, it's just the, like an undercoat that's going to be covered up later. And we'll select this uh, granite looking one. And then you go to this picture, which is a little landscape image with a red square and that's called the crop texture function and we'll click on that. When we click on the crop texture button we end up with uh, a full screen view of our texture and this one happens to be 512 by 512 pixels. Now we grab a square section of this texture just by click dragging like you would select anything else and a red box extends out and just let go anywhere you like and we'll grab a section of that texture it doesn't matter because remember this is just going to be an undercoat click OK and you can see that that texture that we selected has been applied to this demonstration or just a preview of, of sphere so that gives you an indication of what the texture is going to look like when it's applied now we have to select our, the part of the model that we want to apply this texture to. I select the roof, then go to the object operations panel and uh, click on the little apply material icon down here. And you can see that it, it uh, applies that texture that we selected to whatever object was selected. You can um, apply textures to faces and to, to uh, or whole objects if you like. Or you can just select polygons which, uh, which usually make up faces. We'll select the next part, the walls, and do the same thing. Click on the apply material to selection button and it coats that part of the model. And again for the base select the base and apply material and then we can see the whole model is completely covered all the faces are covered and we're ready to start texturing it properly we go back to the materials panel and select the texture that I just produced quickly whipped it up and we'll go and select it and I'm going to select the door part of it this texture is 512 by 512 and we've just I've just dragged a selection box around the door and click OK and now with the uh, point and face selection tool I'll select the front face of the outhouse. 
I'll just move it up a bit. Better view. And go to the operations panel and select our little apply material icon. And you can see the door has been applied to that face. Now going back to the materials panel, I will make a new selection from the texture of the wall. And I'll rotate the model so I can see the side better. Select that face. Go to the operations and apply it. And to the back, same thing. And to the last side. And there's our model. The walls of the outhouse are fully textured. And it looks fairly okay. Now there's one thing about texturing. There are options you can use to try and simulate certain materials and I didn't do that so I'm going to undo all those texture applications and then set up properly. I'll set up the texturing process so that uh, it, the texture applied will look as realistic as possible. Go back to the materials panel and we'll look here at these, there's some settings, there's diffuse, which will tell us how the light, the diffuse light will react with our object. There's ambient, which tells us how the ambient light will react. We're going to leave those two. Then there's specular, which, which can say um, how much glow the uh, object has. Zero is meaning that the object will radiate some sort of light. We'll set this to five and that means if the object's in the dark, you will not see it. Translucency will leave that for now. So we'll go back to our texture. We're using the texture that I made earlier. And the crop texture button. Select the front door again. Select the face that you want to use the front door on. Go to the Object Operations panel and click the Apply Material to Selection button.